learn how to add adjustable knotted straps to the Elliott romper. First, complete the bodice of your romper following the tutorial. Next, we are going to take our arm binding piece and we are going to add some length to it. For my knotted straps, I added about seven inches on the fold, so 14 inches total to my strap piece. Fold your strap in half to find the center. Next, turn your romper wrong side out. Next, we will begin marking the center, front, and back of our binding pieces. You will find the measurements for the front and back of your binding pieces in your tutorial. Start by marking the center with a pin. Using a ruler, mark off the front and back binding placement markers using the chart found in the tutorial. Match the center right side of the binding to the wrong side seam of the romper. Match your pins to the front and to the back and stretch evenly in between. Sew with a one half inch seam allowance. Now we are going to double fold our binding towards the front to completely enclose the raw edge. If you need more help with this, I will link a video in the description that explains it in more detail. When you get to the ends of your straps, fold them under one half inch. This will keep the end of your strap nice and neat and close when you go to sew your binding shut. Once you are finished pinning, sew 1 8 inch away from the folded edge of your binding to close. Now let's take a look at our finished romper. Place your straps together and wrap around your finger forming a knot. You don't want to pull too tightly on your knot or it may be hard to get undone later. Repeat for the other side. That's it, you're all done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and remember to subscribe for the latest content from Petite Stitchery. Until next time. Oh,